I watched them tear that barge apart at, at the shipyard. But when they built those big, big bollards and all of that, right? Well, well, Kirby Corporation was asked about a year ago to consider how we could get the, the shuttle Explorer to to the Clear Lake area, and began working on. And we provided a boat by the name of the Ross Sea that brought the barge around the southern tip of Florida by Key West into the Gulf of Mexico into Bolivar Roads this morning dropped it to two inland tugs we also operate, and those inland tugs brought the barge across the bay and into the Clear Lake area this morning. How much of a journey was it for your crews to get that thing here? Well, it was about a six-day trip, and uh, it was unusual cargo. They, they really enjoyed, all of, our, all of our employees have enjoyed being a part of this really historic occasion. <laughs> New York got one? They should get this. The mock can bring people inside, and there's a really key uh, ingredient in educating folks is to actually get them inside the cockpit to show them what it's like to live and work on the space shuttle. So uh, I think it's going to be a great tool. It's, it's just like the tools that we have over at the Johnson Space Center, where even when we had the real shuttles flying, when I brought visitors to uh, the Johnson Space Center, I'd bring them to a mock-up so I could get them inside and see this is what the vehicle looks like on the inside. This is what we what we worked on so hard. And it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful vehicle, and it's nice to be able to show folks that and, uh, what it was really like. No, just that I thought it would be very uh, exciting for my grandson to see, and I used to work at NASA. I'm very upset because we didn't get one of the real things, you know, obviously, but um, it's just a certain point of history that is going away for the most part.